job numbers improve, let's say there's 200,000, maybe 210,000 jobs tomorrow, there's still 15 million people. I don't want to be the naysayer, the, the negative guy, but 15 million people out of work, okay? Okay. So those guys are still out of work. The 200,000 people that got a job, minimum wage in California is $8, and gasoline's five bucks. He's like, man, I spent five dollars to get to an eight-dollar job. Exactly. He got a job in a restaurant, maybe, maybe it's a single mother, two kids, She's making eight bucks an hour. She has to go to that restaurant now and figure out how do I make an extra $50 a week getting a tip because the middle class is getting crushed regardless of the job number. How do you square with these unemployment numbers? Well, they're, they're a little confusing to me because, you know, when you get 200,000 jobs but the number doesn't change, it was either wrong last time or it's wrong this time. For people to just like, okay, I'm going to go to the next trendy industry right now to get a job, you're better off, and I agree with what you're saying, to say, hey, what do I love, what am I unique at, and go actually target not just that industry, but who you want to work for. Well, the retailer lives off two things. One, you're going to be impulsive, you know, and two, that you don't have discipline. That, that's what they live on. And, and you're driven by this hook word called sale. Right. And you typically go out and buy things on sale, you know, and think, oh, that's good. But, you know, did you even need it? See, that, that's where people waste money in our economy. It's like I, I, I end up being driven by some impulsive purchase when I didn't need that product anyway. Well, middle class America wants good news. Okay, and, and the problem with that is you have to produce your own good news today and not trust just what newspapers, radio, and TV are delivering because they're governmental numbers. You okay, know? help me produce some good news. Okay, uh, the way you produce good news is you, you make a decision, hey, I need to earn more money. Okay, if you're being paid $8 an hour, you have to get creative now. You have to get industrious. You have to get, you have to stand on your own feet now and understand the government cannot fix your financial problems. These numbers, Let's say the job numbers drop to eight and everybody be like, oh my gosh, it's getting better. The truth is you need to look at everything. How much money are you making? How much money do you have? You know, how underwater are you in your house? What are you going to do about that house? You, you got to put the whole picture together, you know, not just a piece or a part. You need to take the job that you're in and become exceptional. You need to become so valuable to the company that you're working for, the customers that you're in front of, so exceptional that people are like, I have to give this person extra money. Like, like, literally, I have money that I don't want to give anybody, but you're so exceptional, I have to give it to you. And that could be the waitress, it could be the contractor, it could be the plumber. It might be a good time for people to start thinking about, hey, I'm going to go work for myself. I'm going to start my own business at this time. In this economy? Absolutely. Rather than sitting around waiting for somebody else to give you a job where they only pay you eight bucks an hour. Look, you're knocking on a door either way.